So I just watched Liam Neeson's latest movie on digital retribution and here's my reaction. So the plot of this movie, guys, we got Liam Neeson who has his kids with him in his vehicle. I guess he's going to drop them off at school or whatever. And while he's doing that, he gets this weird, mysterious phone call from this mysterious voice directing him to do stuff. And if he doesn't do it, he's going to detonate this bomb that he strapped under his seat. He's going to kill him and his family. And also, if they try to escape as well, um, it also will detonate as well. Now, I'm a big fan of Liam Neeson. Nothing against Liam Neeson whatsoever because I know the man's older now. He can't do a lot of stuff he used to do back then. My favorite movie of his, definitely Taken. I love, love that movie. But I'm to the point now, his movies have been very average for me lately. And they should be released straight to streaming or also Blu-ray DVD. This is surprising. This was in theaters, and I'm quite sure it didn't do that well because you can definitely tell the budget of the movie as well. Lady, his movies have been very lower budget. Not knocking low budget films whatsoever, but it's to the point that this released these straight to streaming now. Um, I thought this movie was just average. I didn't completely hate this movie at all whatsoever, guys. I mean, I didn't expect too much from this film, but um, there, the stuff that he has to do in the movie is very intense. I'm not gonna lie. That's probably my best, the, my, my, the best part for me in the film. Um, very suspenseful as well. Um, the twist and the motives of the person behind the call was okay. You can kind of see the twist coming and the motives is kind of, eh, it's okay. We've seen that before. Um, the thing I would say I'm very disappointed in. First of all, the movies do start off a little boring, but the ending, <laughs> the ending of this film, I'm like, that's how it's going to end. A lot of unanswered stuff. And I was like, can we see the outcome of this? But that's all I'm going to say on this. I don't want to spoil anything. Um, other than that, it's, it, like I said, we like edge of your seat kind of movies, but, you know, very average edge of your seat kind of movie. I would say give us a, give us a try. Um, if you like Liam Neeson, I would say give us a try. It's not it's not a horrible movie. I've seen worse. Um, but I think The Marksman probably one of his worst ones. That movie really, really bored me. But this one right here, I like edge of your seat kind of movies. And I think this movie, it wasn't bad. I would give this an average 5 out of 10. So, if you like I said, if you're a Liam Neeson fan, you like suspense uh, twist and turn stuff like that a little bit of action mixed into it i think you may enjoy this movie so like i said five out of ten check it out